tutorial we're going to make a endless style that's going to be randomized uh, which style is going to be spawned so yeah um, that is, will be pretty much it for this tutorial uh, in next tutorial we'll be actually doing a player's rigging and animation blender but first let's create this endless style so let's start first uh, go to your uh, wherever you have this uh, your scene and uh, click on your cube right here and duplicate it and then duplicate this one again no no rename actually yeah it would be good to rename okay tile one and duplicate this one and rename it to okay now we have tile 1 and tile 2 if I drag this one out this one is tile 1 so now attach to uh, two different materials so we'll see the randomization you don't need to do that if you don't want but I'll be doing this so attached to different materials to create by going to create material and if you add a shader transparent here uh, to make it specular to make it a bit shinier I'll delete this material now because I don't need it. Okay, so now create two prefabs. Create prefab and call it tile. Process on it tile and now create another prefab and call this one tile one. Okay, so now drag the first tile two. Uh, I will drag to tile one and tile one to just tile. Now you can select those two objects and delete it from our scene because we don't need them because they are already as prefab in our scene. And now add this script I made when we developed our um, game. It's called random tile. Uh, let me just quickly open this and see what's happening right there. So uh, a variable tile will be selecting our first tile, a variable tile will be selecting our second tile. Uh, this is any game object you can put in here, it doesn't need to be a prefab anything. On function start uh, it will generate a random number between 1 and 3 uh, without 3 so it will generate uh, a number it will be 1 or 2 uh, and if our number is equal to 1 it uh, our var on the variable spawn it will instantiate our first tile at the exact same position as our uh, object that has this three script attached else means that if uh, otherwise if the number is equal to 2 it will spawn our tile 1 by instantiating that means the transfer position transformation it will keep the position of the object that has the script attached on so yeah now we can go out of this out of mono develop and attach the script to our tile and now we can drag our if you go to prefabs we can drag our uh, tile 1 and tile 2 over here I will drag tile and tile 1 as the over here so we have uh, two tiles and now it will generate uh, this one or it will generate this one so um, we want another thing here if you go to our tile we want it if we're going to instantiate it will be instantiated right on this object here but we want it to be exactly 8 units on the right uh, fro from this object because this object has a size of 8 if we have like here 4 we want it to be 4 uh, units away because that way it will be perfectly fitted and there will be no gaps or uh, other problems ok so we want to add a component I have here uh, it's called new position okay so if we go and now uh, remove the script from our cube we didn't need let me just explain first and then we then we'll deal with that Okay, so 
uh, just in the function start it will uh, transfer by translate uh, it means that it will uh, add whatever we write in here so minus a 8.0 uh, it means that's on our x-axis so on the right side why you have minus here because we mistaken at the beginning and if it goes on the opposite direction as your tiles are going just uh, delete the minus over here uh, here's the y-axis and here's the z-axis so uh, yeah let me just go off more from more drop and remove that from our cube because if we have that on our cube at the beginning it will change it uh, to minus 8 and then our player will fall off so we want to add this on our both of our tiles over here we want to add a component and uh, it's called new position and the same on the tile 1 new position um, yeah so we have not that now but we want to add to our tile 1 we want to add a random tile because we want to instantiate another tile of the we want to instantiate other, uh, tile 1 or tile or just tile because uh, it will instantiate it on our tile and uh, no matter what uh, tile is going to instantiate it will add minus 8 to its position so it doesn't matter what we put over here on our tile 1 we also want to add a random tile script and uh, attach tile and tile 1 over here on the random tile and uh, now actually that should be good that should work uh, if you don't have any questions how to do that if you mistake because this is very quick tutorial and it may be, may be, be mm, it's maybe more more complicated but i can explain it to you guys if you have any problems just comment down below um, write me on my gmail i include every time on so if you play now, as you can see, uh, first, as you can see, that's a that's a co coincidence. There's so many tiles or uh, like that, and uh, after a time, there will be just one tile here. As you can see, they're randomized, and it works pretty well, but uh, it's uh, a bit slow because our Um, because there are, uh, as you can see, it's randomized and uh, it goes to it goes to eternity because it is instantiating over and over, and uh, that is just what we want. Okay, so it works. It works pretty well. Um, yeah, and that was for today's guys. 